Hi, this is Ask Brock. I'm Brock Yordy. This week's question comes from Trent. Brock, I'm drilling 10 inch mud rotary holes. And I'm having issues with flowing sands. Please help. It's going to come down to your drilling fluids and your drilling techniques. You know, we obviously can, can cause quite a bit of disruption and those flowing sands are disruptive. You know, they, they're fragile. They want to come in on us. So I'd get away from high yield bentonite and I'd go to a medium yield or maybe even a 90 barrel yield bentonite. Then I'm going to make sure that I have good filtration control additives in there so that I get down to a filtrate less than 12 on my filtrate. Then I want to think about what else am I going to be encountering? My mud pump, my rotation, my bit. So if I'm running a four by three centrifugal, I don't want complete output and I want to make sure that I'm not jetting and eroding that hole. The same with if I have a good piston pump and I can have good PSI at bit face. Next, I'm going to start looking at my sand content and my mud density. I want to start looking at, you know, if I get beyond 1% and we're heading towards 2% and we get up beyond 8.8 .8 pounds per gallon, now we're starting to cause those fragile sands to break down and uh, we can end up having a inadvertent flows where we're going out instead of up the same what am i doing for solids control and maintaining that drilling fluid i want to make sure that i'm able to remove those solids keep that viscosity low but also how much fluid am i using you know i need to look at my volumes 10 inch hole 100 foot you know we're four gallons per foot it's 400 gallons maybe a 100 foot hole i'm using 1200 gallons my uh, if i'm at 80 feet and I'm already 3,500 gallons in and I can't mix fast enough, we're in trouble. We've started to break down that hole. We're gonna, we're gonna have destabilization. We can get stuck. We break that rod and we start seeing cuttings come up and fluid come up and we know that hole's settling on us. These are all issues that can come up. Premix tank, medium yield bentonite, good filtration control additive, get that filtrate down under 12, maintain a mud weight under 8.8 .8 pounds per gallon. Nice, easy rotation, maintain flow. Don't double uh, swab the hole. You know, just understand that we are in fragile, fragile formation and that we need to take our time and we can get through it. We just got to stabilize it, let our bentonites and our filtration control additives do their work in stabilizing the hole and let our pump move those cuttings up and out and make sure we have good solids control that's able to separate that. Most of the time that's not one cone or one cone in a shovel. So that's the things we need to think about. Good luck, Trent. Let me know how it turns out.